Ladies and gentlemen, it's great to see you here this morning as we celebrate the winners of the Meritorious Service Awards. There they are, there. My name is Keith Quinn and I'll be your MC this morning. Uh, before we get started, of course, we go through the formalities of the housekeeping. Uh, the restrooms are located in this direction, uh, at the back of the room near the entrance. Please, we ask that all cell phones are turned off for the duration of the ceremony. You are welcome to take photographs, uh, but we'll also have a professional photographer here uh, in action, so if you'd like photos, please, uh, after the event, see Michelle Wessing, uh, one of the other standards. This is Michelle here. Uh, one of the other standards New Zealand team, let them know, and that will be uh, provided. Uh, while it probably doesn't need to be uh, said to you, especially in this particular audience, in case of an earthquake, please move under your table. I should say, in case of an earthquake, you of all people know what to do. Uh, please move under your table, and in case of a fire drill, please leave through the main entrance and take the stairs to the outside where we will all meet in the front of the building. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the Standards Council Chair, Mr John Lumsden, to say a few words of introduction. Mr John Lumsden. Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the Council, I'd like to welcome you all to the Meritorious Service Awards. Before going any further, I'd like to... Um, uh, with the celebration. There are several special acknowledgements I'd like to make. First, thank you to the Associate Minister of Commerce, the Honourable John Banks, um, who is again hosting this year's awards. And to the Commerce Minister, the Honourable Craig Foss, um, both ministers have shown a commitment to standards that is greatly appreciated. I'd also like to acknowledge our many distinguished guests, including the Honourable Leanne Dalziel, Member of Parliament, Carol Beaumont, uh, Sir Peter Gluckman oh, hasn't shown up quite yet, um, and my fellow members of the Standards Council. Finally, I'd like to give a war warm welcome to each of our winners. Your significant contributions are valued and absolutely critical to developing high quality standards. I've been privileged to serve as Chair of the Standards uh, Council for nearly three years. A crucial role is to ensure that New Zealand continues to benefit from the experience of those who make standards development possible. Standards are, are at the crux of identifying and applying best practice. That means that a successful technical committee will have experts who are at the cutting edge of research, but also practitioners who know what works and, as importantly, what doesn't work. The knowledge and experience that we are able to tap into on our committees is a testament to the commitment individual committee members, their nominating organisations and their employers have to improving their respective sectors and improving the quality of life for all New Zealanders. Some of our award winners have been involved with standards development for most of their working lives. Others are relatively new to the development process but have considerable understanding of the importance of standards within their professions. What all of the award winners share, however, is a dedication to excellence. American professional basketball legend Pat Riley um, wrote in his book, The Winner Within, that excellence is the gradual result of always striving to do better. I'm not sure that he ever served on a technical committee, but he could easily be talking about the standards development process. Standards reflect the day in day out commitment to do better. While this good work takes time, in terms of standards development, the Standards New Zealand team has worked with committees to streamline the process so that the average New Zealand standard takes only 10 months to develop, and that includes a thorough public comment and cons consultation process. The commitment to both excellence and efficiency is at the core of the Standards Council vision to ensure New Zealand is served by a sustainable national standards body. Over the last year, my fellow council members and I have worked with the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment as it carries out the Standards and Conformance Infrastructure Review. And as an aside, it's great to see Gay Siaranki 
M MB's Deputy Chief Executive and several of our MB colleagues here this morning to congratulate the Meritorious Service Awards winners with us. I'm pleased to say that the review has fostered a greater understanding and appreciation of the benefits to New Zealand of a capable and enduring national standards body. Starting from the premise of standards deliver, the review has asked, are there ways to make them deliver more? It is expected that the review's recommendations, due later this year, will look at addressing issues such as the accessibility and ongoing maintenance of standards. While the review is underway, we've continued our delivery of a wide range of public good services, including improving fire safety, promoting industry knowledge of regulatory changes, supporting the recommendations of the Canterbury Earthquake Royal Commission, creating safer adventure activities, and supporting older people and people with disabilities to live at home. In other words, it's been a productive year and a year where we have continued to strive to do better. As everyone in this room well knows, standards help New Zealanders leave lives that are safer, healthier, more prosperous and more convenient. But standards are not just texts and diagrams. They are interactive documents that require the support of government and industry, the knowledge of experts to develop them, and the commitment of individuals to use them. The Meritorious Service Awards allow us the opportunity to celebrate standards and to recognize some of the individuals behind their development. I would like to commend this year's winners, as well as the 2,000 plus technical committee members who bring their knowledge and expertise to the standards development process. Thanks to each of you, our published standards are practical, relevant, and supportive. So I look forward to uh, seeing the award winners receive their uh, certificates and uh, 